So you want to know should you stay in the marriage? Um, yes. And so you said that you married this man, and as a result, he has made your life better. Did you yes, say that? Yes, and I recognize that, and I love him, and I, that's why every day I pray for him, and I thank God for him as well. And so then what's the problem if things are working? Wh- why are you w- wondering if you should stay in the marriage or not? Mm, well, um... Andrea, yes. welcome to the show. You're on the air. Awesome. Hey. So um, I want to tell you a little bit of my my story. <laughs> okay. Um, so I I knew uh, Jesus before I met my husband. Um, and, of course, I already knew better about, you know, only wedding the person that, you know, bears the same yoke and that, you know, knows about God and respects him and honors him and recognizes him, you know, as the, as the father. But, um, and also, you know, I had just been through a lot of relationships where it didn't work out. And then I finally was like, you know, I, one day I pulled over and I was like, God, I, I literally give you my life and do whatever you want with it because it's yours. And, you know, yes, I do have this wish of, you know, finding a husband and please send it to me whenever and whoever you want right so anyways after that i uh, ended up meeting my husband and everything worked out so beautifully you know how you keep saying like if, if it just you don't push it it just works out it works out and you know it makes you have peace and everything right so it did even though he doesn't believe in god and that was the one thing where i should have known better but you know i married him <laughs> And, um, and the the thing is, um, now uh, we've been married for five years. We have two beautiful daughters and, you know, I just realized how, how he has changed me for the better. You know, I had this, um, feminist ideas and I was like, I had anger towards my dad also because, you know, um, he basically was never there for me and, uh, and, uh. I also, that that helped me also to forgive him and other people in my life too, my grandma and other people. Um, and it was after I met him, you know, it was like, I guess, um, being married is, you know, it's, it's, uh, challenging and it just, and, and be and becoming a mother just makes you, you know, um, confront those things, you know, in order to be a good wife and a good mother, you know, and, um, Anyways, my question is, or my comment is, or is, um, you know, even though I didn't, I, I didn't go by what the word says to marry someone that also is in the family, you know, or in that believes in him, um, it just feels that, you know, it has been a benefit for me. So I guess, you know, um, for those people that ended up doing the same thing that I did, this woman, like, um, um, it, it, I, I guess I, I'm asking for like, I've been asking God for, for confirmation on like, you know, should I still, I guess, so I guess, you know, also because we've been, um, having, you know, challenges and stuff in the, in the, in the marriage. Um, and I'm just like, well, is it, is it, you know, is it, uh, God telling me like, you know, um, should I like not continue or should I, or is this common, you know, in almost over every marriage and I should just fight for it, you know, keep fighting for it. I guess, as you know, I've been having this, this, um, this battle. So your question is, and what is your question for me? Um, yeah. So it's like, you know, for Maybe there's other people like in my situation as well, like you know, that maybe they also have this in their in their heart, like you know, um, is is this something that you know, even though we're like in the situation, this is something that you know you just continue fighting for, even though like your partner is not, you know, uh, so, for God. So you want to know should you stay in the marriage? Um. Yes. And so you said that. You married this man, and as a result, he has made your life better. Did you yes, say that? Yes, and I recognize that, and I love him, and I that's why every day I pray for him, and I thank God for him as well. 
And so then what's the problem if things are working? Wh- why are you w- wondering if you should stay in the marriage or not? Mm, well, um, he, I guess because he's made it kind of, uh, he's made comments where like he says he doesn't love me anymore. And um, um, I just feel sometimes that maybe like, you know, like should, um, if there's no love, like should, you know, um, do, pe- do two people stay together even though there's no, no love from one person, in this case from him? I know. I know you don't love me no more, no more, no, no more, no more. And I am loving you no more. Um, so he told you, I don't love you no more? That he doesn't feel the same way about me anymore. And it's because, and, and to be honest, again, at the beginning, I was not who I am now. He has changed me a lot. And Also, uh, when he first married you, you would not obey him? Right, yes, yes, and correct. Now, and correct. now you're starting to obey him? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. But I he's see, mad I... at you because we, in the beginning you made it rough, and yes. now he's kind of mad at you and doesn't want to deal with you anymore? Yes. Oh, I see. And your question is, your question is should you stay with him knowing he doesn't love you? Well, my question is, you know, like, is it is it actually selfish of me to, like, keep him, you know, and... Um, because I, I basically harm him at the beginning, you know. Did, um, does he, is he still there? Is he still staying there? He still live with you? Yes. He still treat you well? Yes. Oh, well, yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You don't need him to love you in that, in that phony love you guys came together with anyway. You, as long as he's there, he's treating you well, you just need to work, apologize for not obeying in the beginning and just do right. And whatever happens, happen. You'll be fine. Okay. Is there anything else that I need to do for him besides praying and, you know, continue, you know, like basically? Um, well, you don't need to pray for I him. Can. You just need you wish him well. That's your prayer. But you you need to pray for you that God will right. put you on the right track and keep you there. Are you doing the silent prayer? Yes. You're doing it every morning, every night? Yes. Okay, well, all you need to do then, and you forgave your mother and your grandmother and everybody, right? Yes. We just do the silent prayer. Don't listen to the thoughts at all because the thought's going to tell you, oh, he said he doesn't love you anymore. You shouldn't be with him now. You should do this. It's a setup. Do not listen to any thoughts and just take it one moment at a time, one day at a time, and let what happens happen. Let it happen naturally. If he stays naturally, you're fine. If he leaves naturally, you're fine. Don't try to make it happen either way. Okay. That makes okay. sense? Yes, sir. Yeah, don't try to make it happen either way. You just work on you and do not listen to what the devil tell you at all. The thoughts will make you make the wrong decision. Okay, yes, sir. So don't worry about it. As long as he's there and and he's doing treating you like a wife and he's the husband and treating the kids fine and he wanna be there, you just work on you and don't worry about him. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Let me know how it goes, all right? Yes. God bless you. You Thank too. You. 